Hey, what's up guys? It's a cut above here. Today I have a bonus knife review. So, uh, this upload and the next upload are going to be bonus knife reviews because uh, this is going to be off the regular weekly upload. Um, and on top of that, I don't own this knife. I kind of wish I did though. This is a pretty sweet knife and I'm going to show you guys what it is. Obviously, you guys can see it's in the box. It's the Benchmade Casbah. Let's get into this knife, okay? So included in the box is going to be a soft cloth carrying case, paperwork, and of course um, your foam insert. You know, I actually do like the Benchmade boxes. I'm not a big Benchmade fan, guys. Um, it's just something about the logo. It's stupid. It's a butterfly. It's, it's stupid. <laughs> Being said, this knife is definitely turning me on to Benchmade. Um, wow, <laughs> this knife is amazing, dare I say. And I went ahead and I threw the card in here as a cheat sheet. Um, so these are the, the, the measurements here. We have a 7.8 inch overall length. It'd be nice if I could speak English. A 4.4 closed length and the blade length is 3.4 inches man that thing really quote-unquote wangs out of there as the owner of this knife would say man this thing is it has a lot of um, how do you say not like recoil but just like authority this is of course a automatic knife um, very reminiscent of the Benchmade Bug Out. Man, I am a fan of this knife. So, I've been carrying this um, today. I uh, had to do some errands in town, and uh, I did uh, you know, carry this knife, and it, it rides so nice in the pocket. And um, to the original owner, uh, I believe I scratched up your pocket clip a little bit, brother, but I will... Uh, make that right with you, all right? Um, I didn't want to use this for any hard cutting task, but I did carry this thing um, with me into town to do my errands, and I didn't even realize I had a knife. That's how lightweight this thing is. And check this out, guys. Can you guys see that? Maybe this might help. It doesn't have like an actual liner in there, but it's not weak. So there's like a metal insert. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it stops right about here, like a metal insert. And the rest of it is just, it's just polymer, but it doesn't really flex. It's really solid, which makes this knife super lightweight. We do have a safety on it, up the safe will not deploy. Put the switch down and it just zooms on out. This knife is of course in S30V. Pretty sweet. Oh, I love the blade shape. Again, really reminiscent of the Benchmade bug out. Um, and a way to describe that as the original owner said, it's basically like the automatic bug out. <laughs> so the Casbah. Man, this knife is excellent. I believe he paid uh, 145 for this, which that's a pretty good deal uh, for what you're getting here. I'm a fan. <laughs> I am a fan. 
Uh, if I could purchase this knife, I would um, in a heartbeat. Uh, this knife is amazing. And uh, I honestly, I really wish this uh, this was mine because I would I would thump on this thing so hard. And uh, but let's do a quick cut test. Let's see how this thing cuts. Uh, it's running the I believe the factory edge still, but just minimal effort. And I do mean minimal effort. I'm. <laughs> not putting any like weight into the cut let's get that started and it just that is a hundred percent the knife working wow beautiful beautiful knife it just it feels right in the hand for you know my my hands it feels really nice. And of course, I couldn't not have a spider kill in the background if I'm talking about Benchmade. Um, that rivalry is like Coke and Pepsi, you know? ARs versus AKs. <laughs> um, maybe even America versus Canada kind of thing. Just a huge rivalry between those brands. And man, <laughs> this is a sweet knife. Uh, I really like this thing. And if you happen to want an automatic knife uh, that isn't a shit biscuit, you know, like these $20 junk knives, man, spend, you know, the $100, $145, get yourself one of these Casbas because uh, it is definitely, definitely nice. The action is amazing. Look at that. It's just sweet. We do have a deep carry pocket clip, and man, let me tell you, this thing is awesome for carrying. Uh, only comes up to about there. Is exposed in the pocket. It was very easy to get out of the pocket um, if you needed to get out. I shot some B-roll. Uh, and when I retrieved the knife from my pocket, it was butter smooth. Beautiful knife. I would highly recommend this knife uh, if you were to purchase a automatic knife. I think this is a really good start. And I could literally just do this all night. It is just super fun, super smooth. The action is just, it comes out with authority. Like, when this thing deploys, like, you, you just, it's hard to explain. You feel it. It's not like it's going to jump out of your hand like some cheap autos. Uh, this thing, when it deploys, uh, at least when it was new, uh, it really spring out. It would almost recoil out of your hand. Um, you know, you guys know, right? Everyone's played with cheap autos. But this thing is just, it feels really good. The jimping is all in the right places. You have jimping up here, which really grabs your finger. You have jimping over here, which really grabs. You have some in the palm area right here. And it just, Amazing. You have a textured handle right here in the center. It just, it feels like a high quality knife. So, I mean, yes, the construction is plastic, but at the same time, you know, for the handle, it feels like quality, if that makes any sense, right? You get these cheap plastics like this thing, and it just feels cheap. And one uh, thing I wanted to note on closing on this knife video this lockup is like solid i mean there's a micron of movement from like front to back and honestly i think it's just my hand slipping like i don't feel any any blade play 
blade centering is really good as well. So guys, that's my uh, take on the Benchmade Casbah. Man, beautiful knife. <laughs> if, uh, if given the chance, I would buy this thing in a heartbeat. Uh, maybe at the end of summer, maybe I might have some money, do the side hustle a little bit, and uh, definitely purchase one of these. This is, this is a great knife. Uh, to the person who loaned me this knife, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review this. And um, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everyone watching my videos. It means the world to me. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you, uh, if you have this knife or have experience with it. Or even would like to purchase something like this because it's just amazing. It feels... High quality. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.